Communities all across our area are starting to see the water from this week's flooding slowly go down, but many roads are still impacted and they are still closed. WTOC's Jasmine Butler went back to Long County to find out what comes next. I just want to give you an idea of just how much water has come through this area. If you take a look behind me, this is typically a road where people can drive down, no issues, but now it's completely washed out. It's began to be broken down because of the flooding. And to give you another example, all of this, it looks like this water is supposed to be here, kind of looks like a river, but believe it or not, this is usually dry. Officials say they've never expected anything like this to happen. It's a bit overwhelming. Robert Parker, chairman of the Long County Board of Commissioners, brought us out to see Mill Pond Road. It's now closed, forcing people to take other routes like many other roads in the area. Public Works has been working 24-7. Um, our, our Sheriff's Office, our Fire Department, EMS, all our emergency services. Doing the best they can to help people through the process. We have to wait on the water to recede. There's no way to hurry the water to recede. And then once it recedes, you know, we'll start making the necessary repairs to the roads. And this week, we told you about a flooded community, the Crawford subdivision, impacted by this now body of water. He says it's an area where they have a lot of work to do. There's some drainage improvements that could be made in there. But at the end of the day, it was, you know, it was built before the county had any code enforcement. It's built in a low lying area along the, the banks of this creek that you see behind me that's well flooded over the bank. Our crews have been all across our viewing area checking in on families and communities that have been impacted by this flooding. So you can find all of that coverage on our website at WTOC.com. In Long County, Jasmine Butler, WTOC News.